Do you know what factions are? The Bible talks about factions, divisions, and what creates factions? Factions are created by ideologies and ideas that our mind has attached to. I was deeply moved this morning um, by a song that a friend shared with me. And uh, it's called Burning Times. Burning Times. And it's about burning the women in Europe because the church and Christianity declared them witches and they killed nine million women. Um, I have always had a subtle consciousness, a subtle memory in me, in my DNA, DNA, for surely I was one of them women once. And uh, as I was taking in the song and the message and the memory, as it placed me back into that time, I understand why I feel such a hatred for Christianity. And if you could place yourself there into that history, you probably would feel it too. why I have such a hatred for Christianity. Don't mistake that as hatred for the people that are Christian. No, I have a hatred for the ideology, the idea of Christianity, and the idea of a Jesus Christ. Always hear this in the proper way. I have never met the historical Yeshua or Jesus. Don't know anything directly of him. The only thing that I know of him is what Christianity and Christians are presenting him to be. And I hate it. I hate that Jesus Christ. Because it goes to something deeper. I was murdered over Jesus Christ. I was murdered over that in another lifetime. And I'm still being quote unquote murdered over that now through ideologies, through people clinging to labels and names and identities that they have attached to God. I'm talking specifically about Father God and Jesus representing that Father God. Listen, guys. It's this ideology that got the women killed. You're so stuck on labels, so unmovable on labels and names because you don't understand the greater awareness of what's quote unquote out there, what's quote unquote above your mind, your ideas. Just feel into 
uh, your emotion when you hear a song that praises um, Hecate, Diana, Isis, uh, these women goddesses. What are you feeling deep down inside of you? Your mind will tell you that these were false idols, right? Can you not feel the enmity? And it's that mindset, the same mindset that led those people back in the Middle Ages to burn the women. I beg you, let go of the names and the labels and the gender identification for God. These ideologies have created factions and they keep us separated because our natural mind needs form and label to attach itself to for security. What if, who can I use? Um, what if Diana is the full expression of God? If we would apply all that, what we have learned about Jesus, if we would put a woman in that place, put Mary Magdalene in there, I bet you you feel an obstacle in your mind. And that obstacle is your natural mind being attached to a father figure or a son figure called Jesus. It's because you learned Christianity that way. It's deep in our bones. It's deep in our DNA, but it's wrong. It's wrong because it keeps factions in place. It keeps us from loving one another. I don't want any more labels or names to separate myself from my family, from my human family. I don't care if you're a druid, a witch, or a Freemason. I don't care you're a human being. All these labels are things that our mind has created. Get beyond the mind, people. I'm so tired of the mind games. So friggin' tired of the mind games. Get yourself beheaded. That's an analogy. Get yourself beheaded to get past that friggin' mind. And open your heart to love. Love is the only name and label we need. And we don't even need that. I beg you, let the light of God come into your heart. Let go of the friggin' labels. The world is starving for love. I am too. We can't keep going on like this. You can't get, keep going on like this. By the way, those of you who say that Jesus is the Father, you gave him that position. He never claimed that. You took a scripture verse that said, I and the Father are one. Or if you have seen me, you have seen the Father. 
And your mind, your natural mind, has declared him eternal God. That's all it is. That doesn't mean it's the truth. Jesus never claimed to be eternal God. We cannot put exclusivity on God to the exclusion of all other creation. You're not understanding God. You're not understanding what God is. Jesus is no more eternal God than I am. That is what he meant. If you have seen renegade, you have seen, a fa you have seen the Father. You've seen an aspect of the Father. If you've seen my dog, here, you've seen an aspect of the Father. I don't even want to use that term, but I'm speaking to Christians. You see this, this leaf, you have, an, you have seen an aspect of God, because God is life. God is life, and that's all it is. Just be aware, my friends, that you have created these doctrines through a mind that cannot understand the laws of God or how God works. You've fallen prey to your natural mind. <laughs>